All right, folks, let's roll in there to some more uh, people on the hot seat. How about NFL head coaches? Mitchell, we know they're going to get fired at some point, <laughs> for at least uh, on Black Monday, but it's going to happen. So here are the top five coaches, maybe I should say bottom five coaches, yeah, probably on bottom. the hot seat right now. We'll move to number five, Hugh Jackson of the Browns. Look, Mitchell, we said this many a time, his handling of Deshaun Kaiser alone was a fireable offense because it was laughably bad. Laughably bad. I mean, you look up in the dictionary how to not handle a rookie quarterback. I think there's a picture of Hugh Jackson and the Browns. The guy's got one win, Tom. I mean, they haven't won on a Sunday in the past 26 Sundays. Like, I believe that is the most all time. And it's just, it's super sad to see that this Browns team just cannot figure it out. I was a believer in Hugh Jackson coming out of the Bengals, but after seeing the way he's handled Deshaun Kaiser, I have lost uh, all my respect for Hugh Jackson as an NFL coach. Uh, let's get then to number four on our list, Dirk Cutter, the Bucks head coach. And the offenses looked bad, which was an issue because he was hired as an offensive coordinator before this. Not only that, I mean, you have, you have a quarterback in his third season. This is a season where the quarterback's supposed to make the leap. And a guy like Jameis Winston, who was selected over, first overall, then you give him toys to play with like Deshaun Jackson, Mike Evans, Doug Martin's a good running back, O.J. Howard, like, this guy has so many options around him, and yet he still can't produce. He turns the ball over way too much, makes horrible pregame speeches. I mean, Dirk <laughs> Cutter right now, you could, you could say he should, I mean, if the other coaches weren't, I guess, so bad on this list, Tom. Dirk Cutter's just made this Buccaneers team from a playoff caliber team to just an absolute dumpster fire. Yeah, I totally agree with you there. I think there's a good chance he ends up getting fired here. We'll go now to number three on our list, the name that Mitchell, I'm from Cincinnati. Bengals fans want him gone. It's Marvin Lewis. I mean, can you really blame him? I mean, the no. guy doesn't win. He, another guy who I think has a lot of talent around him. Guys like A.J. Green, Tyler Reifert. Except yeah, for the offensive I understand line. He can't stay healthy. That offensive line is horrible. But then when you select guys in the draft like Joe Mixon, who we know has the um, – Incredible has a, talent. He has incredible talent, but he also has a lot of off-field issues, and it took you so long to, like, get him the ball. Their defense now with, like, Vontas Perfect is just – is an issue with the coaching is just from head down, offense, defense. It's just, it's all just, again, another dumpster fire. <laughs> the Bengals, Marvin Lewis, no playoff wins. Can't really say many good things At about it. At long last, Marvin Lewis is, is in the last year of his contract. Mike Brown doesn't have to pay him a bunch of money to, to, to fire him. I think what that means is at the end of the year, after Marvin has quitted his contract, the Bengals will fire Marvin Lewis, and then they'll make it underwhelming hire because they're cheap. <laughs> that they are. Keep it rolling now to number two, kind of the opposite in Indianapolis, where Jim Irsay has courted big-name guys in the past. He tried to get John Gruden last year. Gruden said no. All while Pagano was still under contract, and it's kind of a rough spot to be Chuck Pagano. Like, you, you don't have Andrew Luck. Your roster, the, the roster is not that good because of previous poor uh, GM moves made by Ryan Grigson, the former GM. And now you're stuck with a middling team at best that's not going to finish very well, and you're probably going to get fired. He's almost like a dead man walking. Yeah, and I actually kind of feel bad for a guy like Chuck Pagano because I, I think he's a good dude. When you hear players talk about him, they want to like win for him. He's, and I still think the Colts are playing for him. It's just, like you said, when you lose your franchise quarterback in Andrew Luck and then you're given basically the keys to a, a shitty car, uh, yeah. it's, it's hard to drive that car. And unfortunately, in today's NFL, you're paid to win. And if you don't win with a team that is believed to be talented, uh, you're on the hot seat. All right, and then at number one, I think almost everyone is in agreement on this one, Mitchell. Ben McAdoo looks completely outmatched as an NFL head coach yeah, in, I, in every facet of the game. He, I think he spends too much time on his hair, Tom, because he just doesn't spend enough time, I think, either in the film room or just understanding like what his team's strengths and weaknesses are. So, I mean, this was a, t this was a playoff caliber team. This defense was a top five NFL defense, and just they have totally given up on him. The players have already said that they – He's never even had the trust of the players in the locker room. I don't understand how a coach <laughs> I don't understand how a coach with this much talent on a team can be this bad. And then when you lose to a 49ers team, not only lose, dominated against a 49ers team that doesn't even have a win enter the game. I uh, I would not be surprised if Chuck Bagon or Chuck if uh, Ben McAdoo is gone before the end of the season, but that's just me. Well, we'll get to this in a minute here with Ben McAdoo. I think the issue with McAdoo is that the Giants have said they're not going to fire him until the end of the year, which I think is yeah. stupid. I don't yeah. know how to put it. Yeah. So they're your top five candidates. I saw a comment there. What about Hugh Jackson? He was number five. Dirk Cutter's number four. Marvin Lewis is number three. Chuck Pagano is number two. And then Ben McAdoo is number one. Now, they have said that Ben McAdoo will not be fired before the year ends. 